Firescape engineers inspect the summary video. So we're here in uh, MIT. This is a pre-existing non-conforming door. Yeah. Firescape uh, has is showing it must be structurally sound, must be kept painted uh, to meet the uh, Mass Building Code 1001.3. Uh, but there's a lot of changes in the um, in the bolts. So you see original hardware, and you see um, uh, changed out hardware. So you see square heads and hex heads. Uh, it's, uh, it's got more paint than rust, believe it or not, uh, so a spot paint will make this thing pass and get it another five years before they have to do something. And then we're going to talk about the, the grading. So some of the issues that we are concerned about that need to be addressed, um, uh, the spalling of the cement, primarily this one, we've got spalling cement issues. Um, everything else is sort of minor, it's a touch up and caulking to make sure that it doesn't continue growing and spalling. Number two, we have spacer issues on the fire escape. So some of these spacers are starting to basically give way and open up, and this is a good indication of what's happening in, on the need uh, with all of them. Uh, not to the greatest extent there, but that's just the start. So a lot of times without having to flip the grading out, you're going to put um, reinforcement flat underneath. You're going to put the McNichols clips on the, on the ends and uh, one or two in the middle, and that basically lets you utilize this continuous grading for another 20 years without having to flip out the grating. Uh, being a white fire escape, rust is always going to show, so it needs more maintenance, so you need to keep staying on top of this, otherwise she's going to look, uh, she's going to basically not visually look good. Uh, this wood piece here, uh, this fire, fire escape, uh, if it's going to, if you're going to block this just for uh, access to the vendors, you have to make sure that the firemen don't want to use the same ladder, so this will be an obstruction for the firemen, we have to discuss that with the fire department as to whether or not this is a concern of theirs, but you can put, if this is allowed, you want to put a piece of metal here. It can't be, a, it can't be something combustible, uh, something that will catch somebody's eye. So that's, uh, even though you're having some issues with the students, uh, there might be other ways to deal with that. But uh, we have all welded connections. And as you know, welded connections need to be x-rayed or load tested. Otherwise, you pop a bolt in it, there is no load test. So some of this can be eliminated as a concern. Silicone shut everything against the building. Confirm that the hardware is new and not original square heads. See anything else, Andre? On the gussets. Yeah, the gusset on the brackets to be swapped. All the hardware. Well, they. I don't see any rust growing there. They don't need to be swapped. They just need to be load tested. But uh, they we can either back them up to eliminate the load test. Otherwise, uh, there's no rust that I can see built up inside. Got to We got hardware everywhere. We got a welded connection here, which can easily be. Uh, gusseted so that you don't have to x-ray or load test this. You just put a gusset, put a bolt, put a bolt. So that's easy on here. It is um, Let's go down. As you can see, the some of these bolts are all original, so choice. Swap them out, there is no load test. Or you can back them up with another bolt. Silicone shut everything so water doesn't get in there. Otherwise, uh, you can load test. There's, I don't think there's there's any evidence that I got bulging or of any kind on the, on this, so it looks good. So a lot of this, the water that's trapping is right here. Water gets in here, has no place to go, and what ti what tends to happen is this this starts rotting out the top bolt. So something has to be done to basically either let it continue, or sometimes we can infill this with caulking so that the water f falls out, or in some cases you drill a small weep hole in the in the general area so that whatever water does trap in in, the, in these areas does get down. Uh, a lot of times you can also uh, take a, a, a quick hammer to these and bend them out a little bit so that there's a water release of, of these. But as you can see, as you go down, that seems to be a problem that it will eat that top bolt on this fire escape. Okay? Um, going down, we have a, some cement activity there, which looks pretty good. Just needs a touch-up. Cement activity. So I only found cement to be in that middle one up there to be an issue. Everything else should just be sealed. Again, hardware got swapped out, and a lot of times this is this is all we're concerned about. Just you know, is what's happening with the cement. But it looks good so far. It's got legs to the ground. Maybe a cement situation. Yep. Yeah. As you start tapping these things, it all depends on how this cement was applied. Um, so it's kind of things where you basically do a hammer tap, and a lot of times it looks good, but in actuality it's starting to fall apart. All right. So. With that, we got good legs to the ground, and, uh, swapped out hardware. This is what's called reinforcement. So somebody had the original, which is in good order, and they swapped out one, 
and sometimes that's one of the options you know here's another one they kept the two originals put in a, a bolt here to basically reinforce this section that starts eliminating the load test so it's things like this that we can do if there's room for another bolt sometimes we don't have to get rid of the original we just back it up and that allows us to eliminate the load test but at least 75 percent of this firescape has been swapped out right yes okay and uh, and again there's no there's no rust getting in there but uh, you know you need to reseal it so that you don't get these rusty tears coming through yes, because if, if if you don't stay on the maintenance side this starts putting in question these two bolts yes. and even though it's early enough we can still see it these rusty tears are still coming from the and proof that water is getting in from above and that's what we're trying to avoid here all right this is a fully galvanized fire escape here so this one we're not going to have a problem with because the issue is uh, really how it's peeling against the wall um, so it wasn't properly treated they painted it right uh, they probably painted right over and you can still see some of the shine you're supposed to let these things weather one year and then you can prime it with galvite and then you uh, and then you would go to the point of uh, giving it a full paint job and that's what's going to make these things last 40 to 50 years now a lot of times welded connections even on galvanized fire escapes need to be x-rayed or low tested but this is a very good weld professionally done you pop in two bolts over here now I don't need to uh, load test this fire escape because the bolts are verifiable. A weld needs to be x-rayed or, or, or load tested to be verified. So everything looks good on this one. Everything looks good on all the treads going over there. Uh, it's all new, it's, you know, it's not fairly new construction. This is probably 15 to 25 years old, but it's all galvanized, doing very well. And, but just going underneath and looking at this one, this fire escape is one of those that I, we can't see anything that would other than some minor activity that needs to be done to it to certify it with a disclaimer letter if no load test is ordered. Otherwise, if they want to have uh, the 10-year warranty on something like this, uh, there's a few things I would do and that would include swapping out some of the original hardware, get it all to new hardware, uh, reinforce all the gratings, and even on the treads. These through bolts are notorious for rotting out, making this ready to fall. So a lot of times you can keep your treads and the, the process is you have to ver basically stop this rod from rotting out with a clip underneath so you can utilize the existing structure and get another 20, 30, 40 years out of it. Okay, any questions, Firescape Engineers, inspect the summary video, 866-649-0333.